everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you ever ask yourself, am I going to be rich or poor in this lifetime, you landed on the right video. Today we're going to talk about money vibration and what direction you're going in. Are you going towards being rich or are you going towards being poor? Listen, this is no secret. Today you're going to find out about your money vibration and learn how to redirect your life in the right direction. Listen, if you're new to this channel, this is a law of attraction metaphysical channel that brings life-changing information. So please, if you want more videos like this, like, subscribe, and tap the bell. But for right now, if you want to know, am I going to be rich or poor in this lifetime? Keep watching. I'm back everyone. Now what is it that I have to tell you about? Are you going to be rich or are you going to be poor? Listen, every single one of us here watching this video right now have the potential and the ability to become rich. I don't care what you've been told. The thing is, what is it that you believe about yourself and your capabilities? That is going to determine where you fit in between these two. Now, there's characteristics that most rich people have, and we're going to discuss them very quickly so that you guys can pay a little more attention to how you're thinking. And again, everyone, whatever it is you want in life comes from inside, not on the outside. When things are coming from your inside, God will move things on the outside to bring it about. It's just that simple. If you're watching this channel, you guys already know this is the Law of Attraction metaphysical channel and we believe in creating our own lives. So now, what are the characteristics when it comes down to you becoming a millionaire or going towards being poor? Again, you can fit anywhere between the two. The first characteristic I want to tell you guys that you must have is vision. If you don't have a vision for whatever it is that you are trying to create, it will not happen. Without the vision, the people shall perish. That is just the way it is. It doesn't matter what you say. If you don't see yourself being, doing, and having what it is that you want, it will not materialize. That's just plain and simple. Now, the next thing goes along with the vision, and that is confidence. Confidence in yourself to know that you have the ability to create what you want in your life. Now listen, confidence, belief goes hand in hand, but without faith, it's still not going to work. Faith is basically the belief in something that you don't see. It's saying to yourself, this is not my condition. This is something that's going on right now. But it do not determine who I am because I create my life. I see myself as being, doing, and having this. And this is my reality and this is what I accept for myself. There is a big difference between the way rich people think and the way poor people think. Okay? This is very important. Confidence, vision, belief, and faith. If you don't have these things, come on you guys. You might fit between the two, but you will not get up to the point of being rich. Now, let's get to another characteristics that rich people have that poor thinking people don't. And that is seeing the good in everything. Listen, you guys, are you looking at the glass as half empty or half full? Are you looking at a situation saying, oh, my God, it happened to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Or are you looking at it as, hey, look, this happened why did this happen? Okay, I believe in what I'm doing. Okay, let's critique this and let's just keep moving on. Listen, this happened because this is what I did. I'm going to learn from the lesson and I'm going to move on. That is the difference. The poor thinking person is going to say, oh my God, this happened to me. Let me go lie in my bed for the next five days. Oh my God. And that is the difference between a rich thinking person and a poor thinking person. Listen, you guys, you guys really must understand these things because it's going to help you when things go wrong in your life. It's going to sit, have you sit back and say, wait a minute, 
This is not who I am. This is something that happened. And now I know I have to critique it and move on and just let this go. Now, another characteristic that a rich thinking person have that a poor thinking person don't have is they're a little bit more at ease. Okay? Poor thinking people worry a lot. They go around worrying about everything, thinking about everything, why this happened, why that happened, oh my God. While rich thinking people, they tend to be more at ease. I'm not saying they're, with, they're not with stress. I'm saying that things happen, they process it, and they let it go. You guys have to understand, whatever it is you're paying attention to, whatever it is you're focusing on, is what is determining your future. So if you're trying to go towards being rich, successful, financially independent, you cannot harbor on things that went wrong. You must process it, take the lesson from it, and move on. That goes into another characteristic of people that have rich thinking minds over people that have poor thinking minds. Rich thinking mind people, when things go wrong, they process it, they get over it, whatever they got to do to process it. Oh my God, it happened. Okay, that's enough. Now it's time for me to take the lesson from this. What happened? What did I do wrong? Critique it. Let me get back up and let me move on. Poor thinking people will lie down and not get back up. They just lie there and that's it. I don't know what the heck I did. I can't do this anymore. That is the difference. Not knowing this last hurdle they went over was the one that was going to lead them to their promised land. Now, the next characteristic that I want to talk to you about, the difference between rich people and poor people thinking, is taking action, people. Why is it I still have people writing me saying, oh, I'm going to become a millionaire and don't have a plan? Don't have, not taking action in anything that they're doing don't even want to do anything to get it. Listen, whatever it is you're trying to do, you must take action. That is the difference between a rich thinking person and a poor thinking person. A poor thinking person can have the biggest idea of the world, something that will bring in millions and millions of dollars. The rich thinking person can get that same idea, put it into action, and become a millionaire or a billionaire. That is the difference between a rich thinking person and a poor thinking person. That poor thinking person puts nothing into action. And it's just that simple. The next difference that I would tell you that would make a difference between you being rich and poor is investing in yourself. Now, I got a couple of things that I do for myself. I pay myself. I pay myself 10% of what I make. I put it into my savings account. That's paying me for getting out working and doing anything that I do. Second of all, I invest in my education. I mean, what I do is that I pay for books to do extra reading. I take courses. I go to different states um, to travel and learn more about whatever it is I'm trying to do. But I invest in myself. In order for me to get to where I want to be, I must be willing to invest in myself. And that is a major difference between people that, are, that have a rich mentality or rich consciousness and a poor consciousness. They are not willing to put in the work for themselves to grow. And that's important. Now, the next thing I want to tell you is rich people act the part. No matter if they're broke, they have no money in their pocket, they will walk around and act like they rich, act like they got it like that, and won't tell a soul. And at the same time, they're out there making their way to become a millionaire. Listen, we've seen so many of these stories. You're not going to see them walking in with a pair of shorts with holes in it or anything. They're going to sit there and act like they have it. Like Reverend Ike says, fake it until you make it. And it's just that simple. Don't sit there and moan and say, well, I don't have any vet. I don't have nothing. I don't have money. I don't have this. I can't sit in those expensive restaurants like those people. Go there and have a salad. Go there and just sit there and walk in and just smile and window shop. 
Go to those favorite stores, those expensive stores that you have, and just walk around and look and just be gay and happy and just be smiling. Fake it until you make it. It's all about being, doing, and having what you want in life. So why not put yourself around those that have what it is that you want? So dress the part or go to a thrift shop, get the stuff, walk around and act like you got it like that. There's nothing wrong with it and you're just setting yourself up to be successful. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is something that is big, especially among people with a poor level um, of thinking. Listen, and that is spending everyone. Listen, so many of you guys are out there spending your money, throwing it away, not putting it where, you where you're supposed to put it, learning more, investing in yourself. You prefer to have an iPhone 12 go right back out the next month and buy the iPhone 13. You're the type that will go out and buy a $2,000 bag knowing that you live with your mom and haven't paid your college tuition. These are the things poor thinking people do. Rich thinking people don't do. They don't go out and get the cars until they have the money to buy the car. They're not out there spending money on Louis Vuitton when they know they have children to put through college. Listen, I can go out and buy whatever it is I want at this moment. I do not because I have a certain goal. I have to stay on track with my goal. And at the end, I am just going to be doing, being, and having whatever it is I want to do. Listen, you guys need to get out of that mentality that in order for you to be rich, you have to have all these expensive things flying around you. When it's not true. A lot of things you see on TV is not true, you guys. A lot of rich people right now are buying Teslas. Why? Because it's electric and they're saving money on gas. Why do you feel like you need to go out there and get a gas guzzler? This is the difference between people that have a rich level of consciousness and others that don't. Please. Listen, everyone. You guys really need to step back and say to yourself, why am I doing these things? Why am I buying every new phone that come out? Why am I getting every $400 pair of shoes or sneakers when they come out? Why is it that I feel like I need to drive an $80,000 car and I'm still living with my mom or I'm trying to start my business? Why, why, why? This is because you're not on the right level of consciousness when it comes down to your money. And you may seem like you're rich, but you are no longer going towards being rich. You're going towards being poor. Why? Because this is a poor, a poor level of thinking. And a lot of these big companies, they focus on you because they want you to go and buy these things. And they know you want the bigger life. So the last thing I want to tell you guys is, listen, whatever it is you guys want to do, be, or have, you can have it. The main thing is move full speed ahead and do what you want to do and make sure you make wise decisions. Listen, whatever God has for someone else, he has for you. Now, before I get ready to go, I just want to say blessings to everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, always giving you guys life-changing information. Don't forget, if you want to join the family, you want more videos like this, like, subscribe, and tap the bell. If you want to know anything about My World of Metaphysics, please look in the description. If you want to buy crystals, candles, sage, anything, everything is in the description. Please click on the link. Again, this is Yvette, peace to all of you, and namaste.